Kenya Moore Hall is the first one. We Kenya need to Moore. We would like to say here at the Queen's Court, congratulations to the Kenya Moore Hall has getting has finally been married. We don't know for sure because she hasn't produced a husband. Well, I've seen some pictures and things. What's his name? Like, I don't know. His name is Bay. Bay. B A E. His name is Bay. What's his real government name? B A E. Bay. Kenya is notorious for not paying her bills. Ooh. If you recall. She was evicted from her home on national television, and she had to move. Remember, she was dancing around in the wedding dress and all that. Yeah. And I can't, for the life of me, understand if she was paying Walter. If she was paying Walter, why would he drop dime on her unless she didn't pay her bill? I did an event with her, and she didn't pay me. Or she didn't know nothing about it. Would call me back. Never got the money. I say all that to say if this new relationship of her, this quote unquote husband is being paid, she ain't gonna pay her bill. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll soon hear about it all over the press. We will. We will. Trust, I don't buy this wedding. I don't buy this relationship. I don't buy that that's her husband. He doesn't want to be on TV. The whole thing is a hot mess. Yes, and I feel like Kenya Moore is a ginger snap. <laughs> Kenya Moore is a ginger snap. Yes. Oh, excuse me, on the docket is escape. Again? Yes, bitch, you keep writing Ooh, that name. People, everybody wanted to know that it was an escape new two singles shots at Candy and T.I. Did y'all hear Escape uh, to do singles? Um, they not really on the docket tonight. We just really asked the questions because they done had their season finale. Uh, one of the girls apologized. Did you think she was sincere? I did. When I watched the finale, I did think that they were sincere because mm -hmm. she was crying and carrying on. They had she Karen. said God can do all. They had Karen Clark up there saying, yeah. The Clark sisters came to show y'all folks how you really supposed to sound. Mm -hmm. And since you say that God can do and change all things, we hoping that he can shrink candy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but we... God, please pray. To, we're going to ask Kenny to pray to shrink her pussy. What makes you think Kenny got a, a big pussy like I'm that? I'm just saying, it, it's been through a lot, sis. <laughs> <laughs> I guess money can't do all things because money cannot shrink you whole pussy. I don't care how much rejuvenation you get. The miles don't go nowhere on the old car. You can put a new motor in it, but it still look like an old car. You can repaint that hole, and it's still going to... You can put candy paint on that hole, Florida candy orange paint. And hold that pussy. It's <coughs> still gonna be a 1969 Oldsmobile. Well, you know what? <laughs> but we gonna congratulate you for singing baritone on Broadway. What she singing? Baritone. Every man wants a. Wait a minute. What it is? Every man wants a. Wait, how it go? Every man wants a woman. You know what? Before we move on to the next case, let's have a word of prayer for Candace Pussy. Do you know you always praying? I do. Mary because taught you well. She did. She, she did. told me to pray for everything. Okay. Father God, we come to you right here on the Queen's Court. Mm -hmm. Lord, we're asking you to please let our judgments and sentences be fair. Mm -hmm. It has been brought up that Kaya has said that Candace Pussy is big <laughs> as her two of us. Why it is all outside. Lord, we are asking you right now to fill the gap. Shrink it, Lord. <laughs> in between that big pussy. Put it in a dryer one too many times. <laughs> Lord, we tell you, we ask you, Lord, to take that pussy to the please old lady it, game. Lord, so we can be stuck in Time. Put that big pussy in the freezer and let it shrink up. Let that time. pussy go back to the future, Lord, because they got a heart. Lord, give us the strength in this sentencing, Lord, to let it be carried out. We want to put her pussy on probation, but Lord, we know everything is in your hands. So we just ask and we come into you, Lord, as a friend. For a the connection breaking. I think the Lord said this matter is too big. He <laughs> oh, the connection is breaking. Okay. Also on the case is the real firing Tamar and Hiram Ray J. At least they put they, they wanted a pussy that on. They, they kept it feminine. Oh. A blouse. Ray J was the closest thing to Tamar they could get. Why y'all just don't put the Queen's Court in that time slot? Don't nobody want to see Ray J tied ass. You, do you want to see Ray J, sister? Hands up on anybody that want to see Ray J. That's all I got to say about that. So the next case that we have on the docket is Four Generations of Bitches. We have Toya Johnson. 
Resume? Wait a minute, resume? <laughs> no, it's Toya Johnson Carter, right unknown. Okay. <laughs> okay, her mammy, her daughter, and her unborn fetus. Her grandmother. Her grandmother, her mother, her, and the unborn fetus. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go to Regine Carter. Yes, go ahead. You know, Regine, now I usually don't read you. <laughs> no, but she, she clarified that she I was 19 she and the date were working. Her and her could join twins. They were working. I don't know who's the mother or who's the daughter. Oh. You know, but I know this your mammy didn't teach you no respect or manners. That's one thing that I know, because baby, one thing you need to know is don't you ever, in your 19 years of living, try to get into a ring with a professional roaster. See, that's where you fucked up at, and your mammy should have told you, but see, they ain't taught you nothing. Your mother or your grandmother ain't taught you nothing, because they should have warned you by coming into this street with all these 16, 18 wheelers that's going 180 miles an hour. You're going to get bam, boom, and crashed and ran over. You got to know what you're dealing with. Now, I know you're supposed to defend your mother. That's your mother. And you're supposed to protect and defend your mother because no nigga has ever done it. You have been her husband, her sister, her friend. You have been everything to her since she was a little girl, including her bread. Okay? Her meal ticket. Okay? Her bank account. Can you elaborate? Okay. I'm just saying, Reginae has always been the adult in that house. She's running around the house with a bunch of junkies and, and purple lip, lips, purple and tongue. It's purple as a pit bull, all that weed and bunk and hair on. They've been smoking around there. She has always been the breadwinner. So, you know. What? Can you understand? She has to protect her mother. I don't I, understand what you mean by she's always been the breadwinner. Can you please elaborate on that? <laughs> it's always been Reginae. Call your daddy. Reginae, call your daddy. Reginae, your daddy. Regine, call your daddy. <laughs> we want to make sure that you can call your daddy anytime you get ready. This phone has free calls. Out, go and call your daddy. Can't call in, but you can call out to your daddy for a year. So we want to make sure that you can call your daddy at any time. Call your daddy, Regine. Merry Christmas. We love you, baby. We want to make sure that you can get in touch with your daddy. She was conceived when her mama was 14. <laughs> you know, her daddy was never there. You know, you know, her mama grew up in the trap house. You know, 14, had her, you know. So she's always been the, the leader of the pack. The meal ticket. Yeah, because she was the only one that wasn't high until she got 16 and started smoking with her mama. You can look at her lips black as they is and tell ain't nobody that ain't supposed to have no lips black as a pit bull. Regine, now I'm going to go on to Toyota. I told you that we, we was going to get deep into this, you know, because see, Regine, y'all got to understand, Regine has always been the call your daddy. So she's had to endure a lot. You know, she, you know, she couldn't dance. She couldn't sing. She couldn't rap. She inherited nothing from her father. So the OMG girls didn't want her. You know, she stepped into the real world and know that it don't matter how much money your daddy got, you always gonna be the ugly duck. <laughs> you know, your daddy send you clothes, they too small for you, so you let your mama wear them. And all she wanna do is post the pictures on Instagram. I'm tired of seeing them, girl. I'm tired of seeing you post the pictures, your bad body, your tie hanging through. And I, 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 I don't understand what is really going on, Toya. You know, you need to be, Raise your daughter. You're not her sister. You're not her friend. You're her mother. But None of them niggas never loved you, girl. So, Kaya, <laughs> oh my God. So, Kaya, but it's Little Kim and uh, Remy Ma. The singles, the music they put out. Uh, this this new single came out, "Wake Me Up" from Remy Ma, and the single from Little Kim called uh, "Took a Break." Take another break. Okay, Kaya, I need to do this. Okay. For me, as as the just judge, I did like a little bit of that. What little bit? Did you I did like a little bit of the Remy Ma one. Wake me! I did. Because like, she was sounding like T Pain on the hook, or what? No, I I now. Who I, wrote that shit? No. I hold on, cause I need to do something. I did like that Little Kim's new single. It trended. Billboard was. I mean, they loving it. I don't like the sound. It's not for me. It's not the Kim that I love. I don't like the sound. It sounds like Migos, a New York Migos mix. Kind of like, I don't, I didn't like Don't it. wake me up, I'm asleep. So now I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to allow you to finish. I just had to get that out. I did like that Remy, I did. I'm not going to front. I don't, don't really, I don't. wake me up, Remy, I'm asleep. Okay, hold on, sister here. I'm going to go ahead and allow you to go. And One Kim moment. Little, take another break. One moment. I'm asleep. Do that say no fraud? Oh, that say no comment. I thought that say no fraud. It say no comment. I'm sleep.
And you know how it is when you wake a black woman up out of her sleep. Don't come in and in, in grandma room waking me up when I'm asleep. I'm asleep. Take another break. Oh no, Kaya. Oh no. Get to war. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. The bailiff gonna have to come in for this. If you was real punk ho, you would have said my name. But bitch, I'm calling you a hoe. And I'm saying it to your face. Katrina Tower Plus Harbor. I ain't got nothing to do with this. I got I'm out. Why are you out, sis? Mm -hmm. I hit this bitch up 17 years ago, you know. Now the people finna see me hit this bitch up again. You know what I'm talking about this? <laughs> well, we gotta talk about this, you know, because she got on the breakfast club calling people cockroaches and stuff. You don't want to talk about it? Why you got that mask on? Now see, I let your stepdaughter slide. <laughs> but I ain't gonna let your, I ain't gonna let you the stepdaughter who? I ain't gonna let you get away with this. your stepdaughter? Who is the stepdaughter? You know Sourpuss is, is resume stepmama. She was fucking her daddy and her mama. So I let Resume slide, you know, I went light on her, but this rotten body corroded ass bitch, non-producing, unproductive, waste of time. Walking bed bug. She called me a roach, but roaches be everywhere. You know, they, they go everywhere, they get played everywhere. Every club you go in, you hear them, and you pack up and leave, they with you, they all over the world. Bitch, you ain't nowhere but in Miami. Talking about you the baddest bitch and you the queen of Miami, girl. Well, <sighs> At least you got on the breakfast club and finally admitted after 17 years that you was a carpet bunch of pussy eating whore. Turning out these young folks. Fucking and sucking for beats and fashion. You know. You didn't want to acknowledge me just all roaches and claiming as a motherfucker woman. You don't love the hip hop. They got to go through you. Go through you. Only thing go through you is this. That's the only thing go through you. Bruh. You don't own nothing. Not a house. Not a car. You don't own nothing, so don't try to get these people to thinking that you own anything and that somebody has to go through you. We already said that we don't have nothing to, we don't have nothing to do with Mona Scott. <sighs> sour puss, sour puss, sour puss. <sighs> I really don't know what to say to you other than I hit you up a long time ago, but don't you ever in your 49 years of living, you bastard hound looking bitch, try to come for me. <laughs> You is not the baddest bitch. You do not look better than me, bitch. You do not have more hits than me. All you do is try to make friends with bitches in the industry. You're just a bed bug. If I'm a roach, you a bed bug. And you know how bed bugs do to people's body. You've been infecting people's beds for many, many, many motherfucking years. You bastard hound looking bitch. Don't you ever try to come for the queen. You not the baddest, you the saddest hoe. You are the original Cardi B. Cardi B just came in the game and she done won all kind of awards, hoe. You done been in the game for 17 years and you ain't won nothing but a disease. <laughs> oh, give me this whore gift. Where is it at? Hit this whole gift. It's because I can ride your pussy. Since no nigga ain't never gave you nothing, I given you an iodine douche to clean that sour puss because it ain't been cleaned in years. Some feminine deodorant spray because your pussy been sour. You been fucked out and fucked through. You need to spray some of this spray on that stank ass pussy and shed with Kate Michelle because her shit stank too. Some mouth wash because you been sucking dick and pussy. I know your mouth is rotten and corroded. Put some of this mouthwash on your pussy and spray a little bit on the sponge when you wipe your ass. And some feminine body wash. All of these things is for you to take care of that sour puss. Nobody ain't married and ain't no baby ain't never came out of it. Bitch, you 49 years old and don't you ever in your 49 years ever try to come for the pussy. Next day. Ladies and gentlemen, next up on the gift of gag is Wendy <laughs> Wendell <laughs> Bartholomew Orenthal Rufus Clyde <laughs> William. You know, it's a Clyde. If you didn't get that name, every time we add that bitch to the docket, <laughs> it's always an addition to her name. Wendy. Give it to me, sis. Wendell, uh -huh. Orenthal, Bartholomew, Clyde, Rufus, <laughs> Williams. Williams. We got you a gift too, bitch. Yes, we did. Yes. We was looking for you a size 40 heel, but I couldn't find no heels in your size, Wendell. So I got you the best next thing. I'm sorry. Make, we got to make sure that we get this name right. It's Wendy. 
Wendell, Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus, Clyde. William. William. We love you, We got to reach deep down and stop it for this. Wendy, what do you got that bitch? What you got that bitch in? We got you a drug test, bitch. Because we really want to know who, what that fallout was all about. Because we ain't buying that you was on. Oh. <laughs> We want to know what you was on, bitch. That had you fall out for the 2012, bitch. You know you made <laughs> the countdown for Rose for 2017, bitch. We want to know what you was on. So we're going to we give gifting you this drug test. How, how many times a week we going to test this hoe? Every day. Every, God damn, you think she be high every We're going to test that bitch every day. Every, we're going to be testing you every day, Wendy, to make sure that you're not doing no kind of drugs, bitch, so you don't fall out on national TV like you did. So and bitch... Keep that seat warm. Because we coming for these. E-bo-bo.